All right, now it's time to start installing the volume and tone pots, get them set into the guitar. Uh, one thing I did, I don't know, uh, take a look here. I took a Dremel tool and just ground the surface a little bit on these around. I found that it lets the solder connect and adhere better to the pot, makes it easier to solder up than it does if you just leave the, uh, the shiny finish on. Uh, so by roughing it up, it, it just does that. Uh, gives a little bit more for the solder to hook onto. What we want to do is we want to adjust and set our tone pots and our volume pots into the guitar and we want to make sure we have enough room at the top for when we put our, our knobs on. So we're going to put first put the jam nut on the bottom and then a lock washer and then from the inside of the guitar we want to put it through from the back side and we're just going to adjust the height to see where we want to go. And what we want is we want the post to stick out at the top of the guitar far enough for the volume knob to go on and have room to bolt it down. So as you can see, this is still way too loose or way too low. So, and this take this is just a little bit of a finesse to, to figure out the depth. So I'm gonna run it all the way down first and I'm gonna see how far it sticks up. Uh, I've already test fitted the knobs on and I've seen that the knobs actually sit pretty flush with the body. So as you can see with this one, I've got it on there and I've got about, what, about four threads sticking up with it set all the way down at the bottom, which is probably gonna be just enough for my washer and then for my nut to go on the top. Lucy. And when you're putting it on there, you want to be careful also to where you situate your knobs on the inside to where you have the tabs to where you can actually get access to it, solder it. And as you notice, it's pretty tight in there once I get my knobs in. So we're going to have to be careful when we're soldering up to make sure we don't burn the wood or anything like that. But as you can see, this is pretty much exactly where I want it. The, uh, The knob is right at the top of the thread, so when I tighten this down, it's going to pull through nicely. So I'm going to do that with all four. I'm going to adjust the height and put those on. When we do our knobs, or when we pull them through, and when we tighten them down, we want to use a socket. Basically, that way it won't slip. I can get it right over top of the guitar. I want to be careful not to go all the way down to the wood, but I'm going to want to hold my pot on the back side to make sure it doesn't turn. So just go ahead and tighten snug this one down a little bit so that way I'm not damaging the top of the guitar and I'm putting it in from the bottom and making sure it's good so like I said with the rest of these I'm just gonna I know that for that front one it was all the way down with my lock washer Again, thread it through from the back. What I'm going to do is just make sure all four are snug down because I don't want them rotating once they're in because I want a good solid surface to start my soldering. As you can see on the back, what I've done is I've got it toward the tabs are pointing in on each of them and that's going to allow me more room to solder so that way I can solder in an angle. Uh, these two are, of course, my volume. These two are my tone. Uh, and I'll go through soldering here in a little bit. Also, you notice the tops of the knobs have a split in them. And uh, basically that's so you can have a little bit of flex on them to put the knobs on. It's a good idea to just take a pair of pliers and kind of squeeze them tight a little bit. You don't want to have to pound the knobs on but you want just a little bit, you want some tension on them because you don't want them falling off either. All right. And then it's important when you put the knobs on, what I do is I turn them all the way to full volume. And then what I'll do is I'll line up my knobs with the speed knobs and these will go on. And what I'll do is because I've got them all full volume, I'll set it all to where my knobs are reading 10 when they're about the same angle. That way when I turn them to the off position to go all the way off, that way they'll all be, all be uh, even with each other. So 
kind of get it to where I want it, to where I know it's going to be when I'm playing. And that way, when I roll off, it'll be at zero. When I roll on the volume, so it'll be installed. at 10. And uh, they all work properly. Next thing to do will be to get ready to solder them up. And you can see from the back how I've got them. And then, uh, like I said, I'm going to use typical Gibson wiring on this. Uh, so what I'll be doing next is uh, installing the input jack, installing this three-way switch, and getting everything wired up inside the cavity here, uh, capacitors, and getting it ready to accept the pickups.